Hi, I'm Tara O'Leary, the Wine Passionista. Guys, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and whether you're planning to surprise your lady with flowers or chocolates, or maybe even something that sparkles, you'll want your romantic dinner to be a hit and find a wine she'll really love. I'm gonna give you three little questions to make sure you find that perfect wine. So you're sitting in a beautiful restaurant and you've just been handed a huge book of a wine list, but don't panic, it's easier than you might think. The first question to ask is simply, would she prefer white or red? With that one answer, you've eliminated half the wine list already. The second question is, what will she be eating? You don't have to worry about finding the perfect food and wine pairing, but if you know that she's having something light, like white fish or chicken in a simple sauce, then you'll want to look for a wine that's on the light side also, so that it doesn't overwhelm her food. A rule of thumb for food and wine pairing is light food with light wine and heavy food with a more fuller bodied wine. So the third question to ask is what she usually enjoys drinking at home. If she decides she'd like a white and she usually enjoys Sauvignon Blanc, you can look for one of those. Perhaps a Sancerre, which is a classic wine from the region of the Loire Valley in France, and it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc. But for this occasion, let's pretend that she's chosen a red wine, and for her meal, she'll be enjoying a beef tenderloin with a mushroom sauce, and at home, she'd usually drink a Rioja or a Malbec. So now you're armed with all the information you need to find a wine she'll love. It would be easy enough to find a Rioja or a Malbec on the wine list, but since this will hopefully be a night to remember, it's a great opportunity to try something different, and she'll be so impressed with your wine knowledge. And don't forget, the best wine isn't always the most expensive wine on the list. The best wine is the one that most perfectly complements your evening. So there are lots of grapes and regions that would fit the bill. Perhaps you would choose a Cabernet Sauvignon from California, or a Shiraz from Australia. Or another way to go is to one of my favorite regions in France, the Rhone Valley. You're gonna find wines from the Northern Rhone and the Southern Rhone on the wine list. From the North, they're made with the Syrah grape, which is the same as Shiraz in Australia. And from the south, they're always going to be a blend of several different grape varieties, including Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvedre. Both the north and the south are an excellent choice for this meal and this occasion. And if you feel like splurging, a Cote Roti from the Northern Rhone would be wonderful. It's very elegant, refined, lots of dark fruit with a medium to full body. Otherwise, another excellent choice is a Chateau Neuf de Pape from the Southern Rhone. This will pair wonderfully with the beef tenderloin and has enough earthiness to match the mushrooms. And if you're still struggling to find something, look to the wines of Chile or Australia as two countries that produce really good quality wines at a great value. And whichever wine you choose, why not ask the waiter to decant the wine for you? It'll make the wine taste that much better and she'll be impressed that you thought to ask. So remember, three questions. Does she prefer red or white? What will she be eating? And what does she usually drink at home? And your special night will be off to a great start and you will have chosen an excellent wine. And maybe on Valentine's Day, you'll pop a fourth question, but you're on your own for that one. Here's to trying something new, learning something new, and enjoying every glass a whole lot more.